Yo, what up guys? Update on the 1950 Studebaker custom car desk. What you guys see here, I have the, the front bullet. Got, I actually sent it down. So right now it looks like copper, but it's actually chrome. And this is the other part that comes in it. So what I'm doing right now, I know I'm gonna leave it, I know it's not gonna look 100% and I am not taking it to get re chrome just because the uh, Studebaker, I'm gonna want it as a rust style but right now what I'm doing I'm using a master formula um, metal gloss which I'm gonna give it a little bit of gloss not too much just because I want to leave it rust you know look but I'm still giving it a gloss and a sealer so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the metal gloss first and then the sealer on it um, if you guys can see it so I have the other part here I got the bullet plastic one and I got the ambulance for the hood. This one I already cleaned it. I'm not gonna you know polish it or nothing. But here's the studio baker. It's already done. I removed the front bumper because how I'm gonna do it right now in my room it's, it's gonna take out much more space on it. So I wanna put it towards the wall on the end of the wall. But it's already done. It still looks like rust guys, but it's smooth. All right, because I sent it down. I used actually, you know, Coke on it, Coca-Cola on it, just to, you know, give it a nice little look. But hopefully you guys, I know it's a little bit dark in here, but here you go. I removed that, of course, I got it over there. Uh, I'm gonna make these, like I said, headlights work, low beam. I'm actually gonna install the radio. I don't know, it's gonna be on that end, on that uh, vent right there. But uh, everything's done. I brought it in just because I am painting the rims. If you guys saw in the first video, I had one rim red and the other one was rusted. So what I used on the old one, I used a wire cup brush with the grinder to grind everything so it could be smooth. If you guys can see, you can't even see no rust bumps or nothing. So I actually painted these with satin color red. That's how I want it. The white walls, I am going to paint the white walls to give them a, a wider touch on it you guys can see it's a little faded I'm not gonna buy no brand new tires just because this thing is gonna be sitting alright it's not gonna be moving so front bumper right here guys I removed it like I said but I am if I sell this I'm gonna sell it with everything I'll just let the customer know hey I still got the bumper still you know attachable so what I did I did not grind cut it I just removed the three bolts, but I am gonna send it down, polish it like a little bit only, to give it still that rust look. But I'm still, yeah, I still gotta heat that, that metal just to bring it higher because it is bent a little bit, but ain't no, ain't no big. Front bumper, rinse, hubcaps, what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna leave them like this. I know they sell rust paint. It's it's weird. I never saw it till I went to Home Depot last week and I did saw one. So I'm gonna send these down to the metal primer and I'm gonna do that rust uh, color on it for both of them. But here you go guys, Studebaker. This is part two off of it. Hopefully part three will be the last video I'll do on this one. If you guys got any, oh, I'm actually gonna purchase, I'm actually gonna go bring another one which is going to be a 52 same uh, Studebaker but it's going to be a 1952 which on that one is going to have it's not pointy like this but it's man it looks weird but it's dope so that one I'm actually going to do as a barbecue this one I could have done it but I for no matter what I had to keep the bumper off but I wanted this one for the desk because I think it looks way better the other one, the 1952, it's way better and it looks better for a, a barbecue. So that's my next project. But here you go, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share. And uh, we'll keep on posting updates on this. Car design desk, guys. Alright, peace.